You alright lads, this is the Geordie Jedi here. Yeah. Today, I'm back with Game of Thrones Part 4. Episode 1, Part 4. This, you know, there's only about two episodes left, including this one. So, we'll get started right away. Pretty much back from exactly where we left off. You know, you've, 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 you've probably even seen this bit, I think, at the end of me th part, part 3, you saw this bit. So, we're in no rush. I don't care what the fuck they think. I am Ethan! I rule! I mean, I, I will be generous and kind. I mean, you seized back the river no. valleys and the white hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the twat. The oh, I mean, Lord Gregor the Good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father to be like was well regarded. He was a nice man. Everyone, but took years, if not decades, to earn. <laughs> Slightly loud. Were your father's people to lead and protect. I like to do unedited videos, they're a bit nice. You see random shit that I do. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. Apple software update. Forester traditions demand okay. that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. I choose you, Pikachu. I mean Maester. I'm kidding, I probably chose Duncan. I'm assuming that's kinda of what they're going for. Duncan's cool. Done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Liar. You did think to that poor man. Mate. Who is this man? What's up? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Okay. Tell me more. Shut up, man. I'm trying to think. No fucking noise. Quiet. Thief. Fucking shut up. Eric. Was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught Hi, Eric. Two shields and three cool, spears. Man. Is what Sir Roy okay. said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. Oh. We should all flee. It's well, not stealing if you're he's getting punished now. Right. He's got to as soon as he's admitted. The... How, how would it be your right? Seriously, how would it be his right to have some shields and spears that I own? My fucking shields and spears. Shut up. You get wine? You should be fucking thrilled. I'm sorry, it's bread and water, not bread and wine. If you get wine, you should be happy. We are in this together. You say that. But it won't be you who starve in come winter. You'll address him as Lord. Bitch. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. This be harsh, men are on edge as it men is. need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. Mm. You can send him to the war. You will become a pro male prostitute. An man, no. No, he's, he's not innocent. He admitted to the crime. On me. I'm, I'm sending him to the wall. I, I can't show mercy because he's admitted to the crime, but taking three fingers to me seems a bit much. No, mate, you're off to the wall. Also, I can imagine maybe that might help Jared somehow. So, I, so I agree with sending him to the wall. It gives Jared another man to fight with. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just Correct. yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. 
that a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. Yeah, they Ryland or Duncan. Job, Probably I Duncan. Very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. I'm still gonna get. the opinion of people close to you. I was still gonna s talk around to see if I could get some advice. Because I could do with some opinions, office. you know. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. I am in control your of this house. Will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Damn right, I will. Me, of course I will. To convene the small council I am Ivan, Lord of the Underworld. I mean, Lord of House Forestine. I'm a nice man. be honest with you, I sort of tried to do kind of almost like a demon voice. I have no idea how that'll sound on mic. <laughs> it sounds interesting when I do it, but <laughs> on mic it could sound fucking hilarious. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Surprises, surprises, of course. <laughs> nice shield. I like their banner, to be honest. It is a nice banner. So sort of the sword in the tree Careful. to represent ironwood. That's it, and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine two brothers. I carved this to give you okay. strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. It's kind of nice. I'm honored. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. No. I'm sure of it. It is my sword. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Mm -hmm. It was necessary, my son. Is he I mean, my brother. Our enemy. A bad man. Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemy. Enemy, no. Bad man. Yeah. Those mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. I say he is bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. Sounds a bit dark. I'll find the men who took Roderick's sword. Fuck, fuck, fuck it. Fuck sure I have a real sword when I do. I don't think this conversation went as well as we had hoped. He went from being a nice kid, you know, doing a nice thing on a sword, to becoming a future serial killer. So, I don't think that conversation went as well as would hoped. Oh, by the way, if you want to do something that might that might be a little bit funny, below this video, press the subtitles button. Seriously, it's hilarious some of the shit I think I say. It doesn't help that I've got, you know, Geordie accents are very difficult to understand sometimes from an outsider's point of view. Of course, my lord. Although some things should know, my Geordie accent is non pretty much me, weak. I've lived in Newcastle all my life and I've got a pretty weak Geordie accent. If you hear a full blown Geordie accent, I can understand them, but no, holy crap. Good man, good man. We've got to project power. For example, I'd only found out recently you, that we, that sort of full Geordie accent, EM means home. And, uh, I'll be sure to watch you can kind you can kind of see why, but today, I've never I once said EM for home. It's it's because I, I don't have a strong Geordie accent. It's just where I am. Should be grateful if you hear full, as I say, hear full blown Geordie accent. Wow, it's like that. You know that viral video of the Irish. Bloke, and you think, what the fuck did you just say? It's like that. Thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I, I think I chose the right thing, sending him to the wall. You know, what? I didn't let him go free. That was, I couldn't. He'd committed a crime. But 
still have to punish him. So being sent to the woods is probably for the best. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. And she insisted. I will halt, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. My mother. Oh, I'll, I'll be gentle. Because Asha has been exiled, I don't think he can become Lord. Yes, he he's already been exiled. There's nothing can to be done about it. I think, you know, as I say, I'm not 100. percent But could do with Asha. He's meant to be a really good fighter. He's meant to be a warrior. Fine choice. Why, Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has sounds like a laugh. And will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, See, I'm, 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 to I'm conflicted about that. Sir Ryland is good in a fight. There's no arguments about that. But we don't have any kind of strength to put up a fight against Ramsay Snow and his men. That man. I thought I, I did well. you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord White. Have we done, man? She's just I giving us grief. The wall without my knowledge. I know, and that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. So it's, it's, it's Jared. The people Garrett. want me to leave. Garrett. Garrett. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna what? call him Jared. Ethan, please tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable, and smart, and everyone trusts his judgement. Sir Roiland is unpredictable, and likely to make matters worse. Some truth there. You've always given me good mm. advice. Thank you. Now I've also got to think who would be better, sort of, after Ramsay Snow. Because once he's left, cause, or once he, you know, basically, eventually, another problem will come up. And who's, you know, who's the better man? Is it Duncan for that, or is it Sir Ryland for that kind of thing? Our provisions are rather Come look at supplies. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How Bam. long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand the siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Gills cut us off and wait us out, another we reason? Last a fortnight. If I try to fight, steps, I'm not going to win. I, I can't win in a fight. I've, I'm in no position, but... We can do it again, if you like. We've done it before in desperate times. Rest me, I'm just tired of comfortable right the headset. We'll yeah, give him the right. And hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll see to the arrangements. My lord. Alright, I think I made my decision. I'm going to choose Duncan. You see, he does seem the better option. I'm not going to win yes, in a fight with Ramsay Snow. Yes, so there's no point picking Sir Ryland. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. I mean, personally, the way I'd work is I'd pick Sir Ryland because I'm diplomatic and Sir Ryland is sort of a aggressive. So it's kind of it's kind of like you know you have me for the diplomacy and you'd have Sir Ryland for for war based things you know you'd get a strong opinion on war and you'd get my and I'd sort of be the diplomatic person. Basically, the best kind of advisor you can have is not somebody who always agrees with you. It's somebody who'll challenge you. He'll fight back a bit against you if ever you have a. Very in that kind of position, you need somebody who's going to fight with you rather than just, uh, rather than just be a yes man. Before I name my yes man, yes men don't help. Tell you. That don't help in the slightest. So you need somebody who's going to give you a different opinion, different point of views. But in this, in this, but we can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on. I can I suspect that whoever I choose is going to have to make decisions like sort of when I'm not around 
when Ethan, well, when Ethan more specifically isn't around. And I suspect in that case, I'd rather have Duncan. Duncan, Sir Ryland, you've been very nice, man. Hi, mother, how you doing? Duncan, you were kinkier in the bedchamber. Sir Ryland was a little bit... He went safe. He went safe, so... Sir Ryland Duncan had to Potter. save Duncan. You, you were kinkier, like so I like you. I mean, Fuck. you'd be a good this, sentinel because you're diplomatic. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Damn it, it's my fucking choice, Ryland. Fuck up, man. Now, sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons indeed, need indeed. our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. Even the not bastard Ramsay. For you must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. I will hear from my Sentinel. Please. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. No. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! I'm going for the diplomatic option. My we new use sentinel diplomacy. favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall it's use my plan, because we can't fight against Lord Snow. It would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance. That's a good point, I think. Reasonable agreement. You aren't ready I keep trying to get comfortable. I'm sitting on the floor. I, I, you know, I, I should really have a gaming chair, but then Ethan I wouldn't have a camera. And and you will have to his go with it. Damn right, bitch. Fuck down! STFD. That's my new saying, which is sit the fuck down. Ah. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsey's arrival. Instead of STFU, it's now STFD, which is sit the fuck down. Ramsey Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Iron Rush. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed him. Lord Ethan? Ramsey Snow is fucking insane. You can't do shit like that. Yeah. Move, my lord. It's He's careless. fucking crazy, Ramsey, Ramsey Snow. Steering you wrong. That's enough. Oh, shut the fuck up. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot. I see this as an STFD yes, moment. My lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. <laughs> yes. Sit down. Sit the fuck down. Yes, that went well. But now that it is settled. You know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not. Should also point out, STFD army. is also for when worry, you burn Lord. someone. I will stand beside you. It's like so boom, down. sit the fuck down. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. That's what it means. I'm pretty sure I invented it. STFD, my invention. Sit the fuck down. My Lord. Or it's boom, sit the fuck down. Many. No, uh, oh, I'm not forgetting it. You just keep being an arsehole. Grow the fuck up. Gonna. There will always be those who question your. I draw Duncan Tull. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Okay, now she brings up Asha. 
What about your brother? Correct, Asia? family. Malcolm told me. Yes, nice he man. Wants to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Nah. I don't disagree. I think he should come back because uh, he's exiled. I don't think he can become a lord. He can't become lord of this of, uh, house forest stuff. So Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, Fucking and there was nothing else him. Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But... I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. I'm fucking but you smarter. Who is standing beside you. But I don't disagree with that. I could do with, you know, someone. You know, I've I've lost enough house forest. I've lost enough men. It could probably do with someone like Asher. I'm trying what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Okay. We'll go to Essos and bring Asher back. Fine with me. I don't mind good sending him to Essos, he'll do well there. He'll bring back you. some prostitutes, you know. know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. He'll bring back some weed and some crack, it. some prostitutes and everything will be happy. And, br and you can bring back Asha as well, you might as well, you go in there. But mainly the crack and the prostitutes is mainly what we're after here. Back with Mira. Oh my god, who is that? <gasps> I've run him outside. <laughs> Sorry, I had slight. Well, actually, you probably know who it is, but slight suspend. This being the Geordie Jedi, leave a like if you can, it really helps. Subscribe for more videos. Comment below how you think it's going, and also if you played this game, what choices did you make that I didn't, and how did they turn out? So, may the force be with you.